Hi, there's Jason Eagle, your natural health authority with another little snippy pippet. And we're talking about lips, chap lips. Do you have chap lips? Do you get chap lips? Are you the person that carries the chapstick around with you all the time or the bee balm or something like that? Well, topical things help, but really it's because you're dehydrated, right? Chap lips are dehydrated. And also because um, a lot of times we're too acidic and we don't have enough alkalinity. So you don't eat enough fruits and vegetables, uh, but also you don't drink enough water or you drink too much coffee or things like that that are dehydrating. And so for every cup of coffee that you drink, you actually have to add almost like a double cup of water to rehydrate. So be rehydrated. But there's still some cases where people still do have dry lips. So what do you put on them? I always recommend don't put anything on your body that you can't eat. Well, I wouldn't eat chapstick. And even though you look at some of the ingredients and um, you know, of a good chapstick and stuff like that. You could, but like you wouldn't, but you would eat olive oil. You would eat coconut oil, um, those natural oils, sesame oil, that type of stuff. So in your car or, you know, at your desk or something like that, um, just a little bit of that. And again, you just put a little bit on your, your finger and then put it on your lips and, and then it will absorb people go, I don't want it to be all greasy. It will absorb. People that wear lipstick too much, you're drying your lips, to, uh, let your lips rest over the weekend or other times. And, you know, could you live without the chapstick or, or I'm sorry, lipstick or something like that. So um, those are the topical things. But as I said, usually it starts from the inside and we are dehydrated and nothing better than water. Okay. Drink your water. Okay. Bye-bye.